What's up guys? So today we're taking a look at the Unify Drive UT2. Now it's about to hit Kickstarter and it's one of the coolest devices I've reviewed on this channel. It's a portable all-in-one mini NAS, mini PC, external hard drive, a bunch of other functionality built into this device that we're going to cover, but it's a really cool piece of hardware that you might just want to add to your tech arsenal. When we get it out of the packaging, overall the design of this thing is super sleek and really functional. It's got this outer rubber cover in order to protect the drives and the device itself, uh, and overall it's just a really nice, light, small, compact, slim device that you can just throw in your bag or keep it plugged in all day and use it as your home NAS. Now in terms of everything else we get in the box, we get a USB-C power connector uh, for when you're powering this thing off the wall. It does have a built-in UPS that provides around an hour of battery life when you're on the go, but for the most part, you're going to want to keep this thing charging. It also has an HDMI port. We're going to cover the multimedia capabilities of this thing. You also get around a three-foot USB-C uh, connector as well as an Ethernet uh, cable. It does come with two and a half gig Ethernet on board. So plenty of bandwidth to this device. You also get a remote control in case you do want to use this thing for multimedia purposes, batteries for the, the remote, and then a screwdriver included. So everything you need for this device in the box. Now, overall, the enclosure on this thing, super clean, like I already mentioned. You have power delivery over USB-C, Ethernet, and then the HDMI 1.2 port. You also have regular USB type A, a CF Express card slot, as well as an SD card slot, and another USB data connection in order to use this thing as an external hard drive. Now, of course, this thing is a mini PC. It's a mini NAS. It has an, a, a rock chip 3588C, along with an ARM Mali G610 G. GPU. So overall, pretty impressive ARM performance built into this thing. You also have two NVMe slots on this bad boy, up to 16 terabytes of storage. So two PCIe Gen 3 SSDs can fit in this thing. Uh, we also get 32 gigs of eMMC memory on board in order to run the OS, and then 8 gigs of LPDDR4X. So a good amount of memory, good amount of storage capabilities on this device. Of course, you do have to provide your own NVMe SSD in order to create the storage capacity of this drive, but overall, that is really, really nice to have all that support. Now, in terms of uh, powering this thing on for the first time, of course, just plug it in over USB-C, connect your Ethernet jack as well. Now, this thing does have Wi-Fi capabilities. It has Wi-Fi 6 on board as well as Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, overall, uh, yeah, I'll show you the Wi-Fi connections in a little bit, but we can download the Unify Drive app off the App Store, Mac OS Store, uh, Google Play Store, whatever device you're using, and we can immediately jump in and it will find your device on your network. So as long as you're connected to the same network as the drive, as the UT2 itself, you'll be able to just easily connect to it, easily pick it up. It'll run through and download the latest update. It took about 15, 20 minutes to install that update. We were able to create an account. Uh, set everything up and then format our SSD. Now there is functionality to do, you know, two SSDs, pull them together, do RAID one, or they have a custom setup in order to get, you know, the full utilization of both drives uh, on the device. But in terms of the initial setup, everything's super, super breezy. Now we're over on our Mac and I'm turning on plug backup. So this allows us to directly connect an SD card or a CF Express card directly into the device itself, whether it's acting as a NAS or, or the external drive itself and have amazing transfer speeds. You're looking at over 300 megabytes per second on the CF Express card slot, whatever your SD card supports. It's as simple as double tapping the copy button on the drive itself once you insert the CF Express and the transfer is pretty much instantaneous, 300 megabyte per second. I transfer like eight gigabytes worth of video files onto the drive in less than five minutes. Super, super convenient to not, you know, be tethered to your Wi-Fi bandwidth or your network bandwidth within your home and really take full advantage of the speed that a CF Express card, uh, you know, allows for. If you're doing photography or, or videography, it's a great capability of this device. And overall playback is super smooth. All of this being transferred over Wi-Fi to my Mac from this device. You can see no physical connection between the UT2 and my Mac and everything is super, super smooth. Now, like I mentioned before, there is Wi-Fi 6 on board. So it scans via Bluetooth with Bluetooth 5.0. It also uses Bluetooth for remote control capabilities when we use this as a multimedia kind of PC NAS. Uh, but overall, in order to set up the Wi-Fi, super, super simple. You can press the Wi-Fi connection button. Now, on this button and just overall in terms of the Wi-Fi capabilities of this device, it's super, super cool. So there's actually Wi-Fi and there's also an 
AP mode uh, on this device, you can use this thing as an access point. So it does shut off all the Wi-Fi capabilities of the device. You can't connect to it any longer, but any device that connects to the UT2 can use it as an access point and directly access the internet over this uh, over the UT2 device. So really, really cool functionality that just, yeah, you wouldn't expect out of this kind of device, but being that it is this all-in-one kind of access point, NAS, PC, multimedia PC, plus external drive, it's just, it has a bunch of functionality that kind of blows my mind. Uh, and really a... <laughs> just added benefit and added reason to go out and purchase a device like this. Now, I have this thing connected over HDMI directly to my TV, uh, and it's as simple as scanning the QR code that pops up on your TV inside of the app in order to just log in on the device as the administrator, and then you have full access to movies and files on the device. You can see any PowerPoint presentations you might have, watch any movies or videos you might have. So I'll show you guys the video playback and the presentation modes so or in files. Uh, pick up this PowerPoint that I just put together of some UT2 uh, kind of uh, marketing uh, uh, images. Overall, super smooth, super quick. As you can see, as soon as I push the button on the remote, immediately works over the UT2, over Bluetooth, and changes the slides on the TV. And you do, of course, then also have the movie playbacks. So we can go home, we can go to movies. Uh, you can load up whatever movies you want. It'll auto pick up any information about that movie. Uh, I just loaded up some footage for this video onto the drive itself and I can play it back. Now, I did have a little bit of stuttering when it came to playback on the UT2 over HDMI. You can see it now, just there's some weird stuttering going on. I'm sure that'll be a software update in the future that updates that and allows that to be fixed. Maybe it's just my de device itself. Overall, not too concerned about it. Now, the last thing, or one of the last things I wanna show you guys is this flash drive mode. So we can turn it on, we can allocate capacity on the drive to be able to be used as an external hard drive. Something you just plug in over USB-C, and use it as an external drive uh, and not kind of take away from the NAS capability and the NAS capacity that you have on the UT2. So as you can see, I'm running this in UPS mode. No power connected to this thing, no nine volt, no 12 volt. Of course you could connect a nine volt or 12 volt kind of external power supply to this device, be able to power it off of that. We're gonna in use the internal UPS connected over USB-C and you can see we have 50 gigabytes on that UD flash drive. So yeah. As simple as that, plug and play, you have the dedicated amount of capacity that you set up inside of the app. Uh, you can just go in there and copy things over and it's gonna work as fast as you would expect over USB-C and with an NVMe running PCIe 3.0. Just copied a gigabyte you know, video in barely any time whatsoever. So again, like really, really cool functionality on this device. And I just wanna show you guys, now not connected to anything, no USB power, no USB connected to the to my Mac in terms of using it as an external drive, just using the UPS and using this as a NAS uh, with, you know, just this, you know, nothing connected to it. Again, no, no HDMI, no, no power, no data running to the UT2, just using Wi-Fi and just using the internal power supply. And overall, super, super quick to turn on, pretty quickly connects to your Wi-Fi network, and then you can directly connect to your PC and use it as a NAS with zero you know, connection going to it. Overall, just really interesting functionality, cool capability of the UT2 to be able to do something like that. And there's a bunch of other capabilities. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on them, but you do have UD link mode, which allows you to connect to the device over the internet using unified drive services. You have all the file management capabilities of SMB and FTP and all the other file sharing functionality with this NAS. You also have encrypted storage pools. You also have AI built into the device that allows you to do all the photo recognition that you can do on your phone. Overall, it's a super simple thing to just throw into your backpack, throw into your, with your camera gear or your video gear or whatever you're using this for and really just add an extra layer of uh, capacity, an extra layer of storage to your whole setup that's purely wireless, has the built-in battery backup, can be used as an access point, can be used to transfer files directly via USB-C, can be used to showcase videos or photos to your clients with the HDMI capabilities uh, and, the, and the remote control. Overall, a ton of features and functionality on this UT2. Uh, so I'll have all the links down in the description below to the product page, uh, as well as the Kickstarter. So if you want any more information, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.